Quarter friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in the last video I asked for all of your help. I had come into a little bit of a mental block of deciding on where this little project needed to go to next and I was overwhelmed by all of the amazing comments and the creative ideas that came flooding in and definitely things that I would never have thought about myself and I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart who took the time to actually put in a comment it was absolutely gold as far as I'm concerned so thank you so very much I really 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 appreciate it some of the ideas that I took away from it that I'm going to try and incorporate this is called the duck cottage from petite property it does come with a base and I'm debating whether to get that or not it's currently out of stock so that might make the decision for me but I might actually just make one myself and I think I've probably got enough materials and bits and pieces that I can do that with so that's what I'm going to do definitely going to have a lake something where the ducks can be swimming around in I like the idea that it might be under a little bit of renovation so there might be some painting that might not be quite finished yet or something along those lines the idea of a duck whisperer I thought was really really cute and then also woodworking carving ducks and out of wood actually so I thought that was kind of a cute little idea as well so it's one idea that I hadn't kind of gone that far with I love the doomsday off-grid preppers maybe not necessarily doomsday but certainly the off-grid part of it so I'm keen to kind of think about how I could make potentially make this completely off-grid there was another really cool comment around a canoe leaning up against the side of the house and then an axe and a, and a wood chopping stump so I thought that was a really lovely visual to add to it there were a few other ones that I thought was really cool the exterior painting it sort of a duck egg blue I had a kind of that in the back of my mind but I was like just sort of was quite unsure of myself so I'm glad that somebody came up with that idea so that's what we're going to be doing the roof I think I'll paint um probably I'm not going to keep it black I think it's just too contrasting and it looks too clean I'm thinking probably more like a wooden shingles that's sort of aged silver over a period of time and duck pie by one of my viewers so I thought that was really interesting the comment was to make it into a factory I'm not too sure if I'm going to make it into a factory but certainly maybe a kitchen bench with some pie making remnants on there so I thought that was super cute as well certainly not something that I would have thought about again thank you from the bottom of my heart I really do appreciate all of the comments and the stories and the ideas it's really inspired me to continue on with this build and so what I'm doing here is actually putting a wash over the brickwork and this is going to help bring out some of those details of each individual brick by allowing that wash to settle into the nooks and crannies so moving on to the roof uh, like I mentioned earlier what I'm doing here is putting a coat of brown over the entire roof pick out as if it's wood I'm actually kind of doing quite a heavy almost dry brush on it because I do want a little bit of that black to show through and give it some sort of shading and definition of each one of those shingles and then once I've done that I'm going to go over it again with a drier brush of grey and really start to pick out some of those highlights and what I'm trying to do here is really give it that sort of weathered when water's been left out in the sun for a little bit too long what I did notice however is after I'd kind of got round through most of it it was looking really grey and actually a little bit too chalky so things look a little bit too chalky when it's got too much white into the mix yeah I really wasn't too happy with it so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back over with a with a bit more brown mixed into that grey so just to try and warm up the roof a little bit more and after I'd kind of gone through this second coat of paint or second dry brush of highlights to bring that, that mid-tone back into the piece so after this was done I was much happier with it and it actually gave a lot more definition actually having the three layers of paint on it, three layers of colour. So for the base of it I'm actually mapping out roughly where I want things to be placed. This is this piece of paper is the same size as a piece of foam 
that I've got that I'll, that I'll be using to carve out the lake. And so I'm just mapping out where I want the house to sit. And so that will give me the ability to put in a lake as well as the decking and a little bit of a sort of a jetty type thing, which will come over the lake. Taking inspiration from Petit Properties and their base that they've got, looking to sort of mirror a little bit of that. And it's the pencil drawing of the lake. So once I've got that, I'm just using a piece of three mil MDF and I'm just going to cut out the decking. I did do this in two pieces purely because that was the scrap pieces that I had. So all I needed to do is just glue it together and I'm just going to do that with a little bit of tacky glue and then I'm just going to reinforce it in behind with a bit of paper, but it's drawing paper. So it's a little bit heavier than printer paper. And then I'm also going to create a little roof that'll go over the French doors. So I'm not going to add this into the project just yet because what I need to do is add some posts for it to sit on and then it does need to attach to the wall. However, I do want the decking to sit separate until I've done their base because there will be some resin going in there. So that's why I'm going to leave that separate. I'm just using some slightly different shingles for this one. These are sort of more jagged shingles. So I really wanted it to look like it's been an add-on later to the build. Uh, so I'm following the same process for the decking and I'm going to cut up some strips of, actually this is the same art paper again, it's slightly thicker than printer paper but definitely thinner than card stock and the reason why I wanted to do that is I didn't want to add any more bulk into the 3mm MDF for the, for the decking. So once I've got those done, all I need to do now is just paint it up and I'm just going to use exactly the same colours that I've used on the roof and I'm going to use that on the decking and going to follow the same very similar process with a brown coat and then I'm going to paint over the top of it with a browny grey dry brush just to give it a little bit more definition into the piece. Moving on to creating the railing. So I'm just gonna do a really simple type of railing around the outside. And these, this is some pieces of Guerdel that are two millimeters square. And what I'm doing here is just placing them out just to see if I've got enough, and I definitely did not have enough. So I'm just cutting a few more pieces to fit around the post to make sure that I've got enough. And then I'm just going to, rather than measuring it, I'm just going to place the dowel into the project and then cut it to length. And then I'm just going to work my way and start gluing all of these together. And then once I've got all of those made up and dry, all I need to do now is actually glue it into place. Again, using the same colour scheme as I've done for the roof and the decking is that sort of brown. Actually for this one, I'm sort of mixing it as I'm going. A little bit of grey, a little bit of brown, just mixing that up together to give me the look that I'm after. So it's all, all blending nicely together. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate all of the comments and the stories and the ideas. So if you've liked this video, hit that like button and tell YouTube to share it with a wider audience. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. So until next time, everybody, I'll see you then. Bye for now.